Hillary Clinton has ordered the deaths or ruined the lives of everybody who seems to come against her. Julian Assange's lawyer is dead. Seth Rich and Joe Montano, both of whom appeared to know about the DNC's attempts to rig the nomination for Hillary, are dead. Lawyer Sean Lucas, who was working on the DNC investigation, dead. Victor Thorne, who was working on a new book outlining a huge Clinton scandal, dead. UN official John Ash, just one day before he was set to testify against Hillary Clinton and the DNC, dead. Hillary Clinton's campaign seems to have made disparaging comments for just about every people group in the United States, including traditional Democratic strongholds. In one WikiLeak, Hillary's campaign places blacks and Muslims at the bottom of the economic success ladder and likens them to, quote, professional never-do-wells, unquote. The campaign also claims that Latinos are needy. Yikes. It seems there is some Clinton hostility towards three of the strongest Democratic constituencies in the United States. And it only gets worse for Hillary and her campaign. Hillary's campaign has now been exposed multiple times as colluding with the New York Times, CNN, and Politico on stories that are pro-Hillary. WikiLeaks has released astonishing reports that these media outlets actually contact Hillary's campaign to make sure that they are saying and reporting only what is approved by Hillary. Arguably one of the worst moments for Hillary Clinton was her explanation about why she said during one of her many paid speeches to Wall Street that it's okay to have a private position and a public position that may be entirely different. This is popularly known as lying. Yet after being exposed, Hillary tried desperately to redeem herself with the famous Honest Abe explanation which is now considered one of the worst responses to a question in modern debate history. Secretary Clinton. Well, your two minutes. Right. As, as I recall, that was uh, something I said about Abraham Lincoln uh, after having seen the wonderful Steven Spielberg movie called Lincoln. It was a master class watching President Lincoln. Number nine. CNN has been caught numerous times steering the election for Hillary, whether it is through Clinton surrogates like Brooke Baldwin and Anna Navarro. It's almost embarrassing to watch CNN anymore because it is so biased. And yet, when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Donna Brazil, a CNN contributor and then vice chair of the DNC, clearly leaked questions to the Clinton campaign before a debate between Hillary and Bernie Sanders. Even the Young Turks blasted the Clinton campaign on this one. Julian Assange suggested back in the summer of 2016 that Hillary Clinton had provided military-grade weaponry to ISIS. Even pro-Hillary website Snopes.com was unable to debunk this one with another of their dubious sources. Hillary Clinton claims to be the hero of middle-class and working-class women, even posting a tweet entitled, quote, women have the power to stop Trump, unquote. Now, a hack WikiLeak reveals that Hillary, Bill, and her campaign sought to undermine and destroy the reputation of Juanita Broderick. In one email, she encourages Wall Street to get involved in the political process of America. And in another, she encourages rich bankers to influence politics that huge sums of Wall Street money can buy, influence, and potentially change the course of politics. She is not for the American people. She's for the big banks. A WikiLeak exposes and confirms that Barack Obama not only knew about Hillary Clinton's private server, he actually communicated with her on it. And Obama speaking out on 60 Minutes about Hillary Clinton's email controversy. Did you know about Hillary Clinton's use of private, private email server? No. While she was Secretary of State? No. Now it's pretty well confirmed that he received a number of them from her, so isn't that a flat out lie? This is a message directly to the women of America I want to know how you plan to sleep at night after you vote for her.